Now, a shortage of teaching space is a problem faced by many schools, but building new classrooms doesn't come cheap. But of course, sometimes there is another way. Take the case of a primary school in Essex, which has found a much cheaper solution. This report from Kim Riley. At Milton Hall Primary, they like to be different. School motto, dream it, believe it, achieve it. The 650 children enjoy some of the best media and performance facilities you can find. A music recording studio. A radio suite where they were rehearsing a new production. And a 3D white room where the impossible becomes possible. The children taken in a spaceship to explore the planets. But stand by for media manager Mr Baker's latest coup. He was having a flying lesson at Southend Airport when he spotted just the thing for a new teaching space. A 30-year-old fuselage of a Cessna Citation aircraft, bought for £4,000. With new seating, lighting, solar panels and wind turbines, it'll scrub up well to house classes of up to 15 children. I'm excited. It's going to be a long project ahead of us and we want to make sure that we can do it the best we can so that the kids can kind of enjoy it and that, that we can live up to the hype that's now been created around it. I'm pretty confident that um, once we get the jet washer out and uh, you know a few bits of wood on it, we'll, um, we'll be able to make it look uh, pretty, pretty new. Do you think it's one of Mr Baker's better ideas? Yeah, uh, yeah. He, he always has, you know, really good ideas, but I'm sure this one, once it's completed, will be one of the better ones, yeah. And the children's verdict? Most of the schools might not have this, and we do, so very lucky. This aerodynamic classroom will just be amazing for children. It'll all look really nice, it'll be a really good um, learning space to inspire the kids even more. This school is awesome and unique. The Cessna's arrival via a low loader and a crane created quite a stir in the area. But before giving their blessing to the scheme, Mr Baker's had to reassure the school's head teacher and governors he has no plans for the new classroom to ever take off again. Kim Riley, BBC Look East, Westcliff on Sea.